Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we will be solving compound inequalities involving AND. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on inequalities, a playlist will be linked in the description below as well as in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please check that playlist out before watching this video. So combining two or more simple inequalities forms a compound inequality. And there are two types of compound inequalities, compound inequalities with and and compound inequalities with or. And today we'll talk about compound inequalities involving and. So an example of this would be something like four is less than x plus two and x plus two is less than or equal to a. This and combi combines both simple inequalities together. So now we can solve each inequality separately. So we can subtract two from both sides of the first inequality to get two is less than x. Now the next, on the right side, we can subtract two to get x is less than or equal to six. Now we can graph both equations or both inequalities on a number line. So the first one is two is less than x or x is greater than two. So since it's only less than, you have an open circle and x is greater than two or two is less than x. So we have a graph that looks like this. Now the second graph will be x is less than or equal to six. So we have six might be somewhere like here and it's a closed dot since it's less than in equal to. And since x is less than, we're going to be moving in the left direction and that would be the graph of the second um, inequality. Now, if it helps to graph this, you can switch the x and flip the signs so it'll be easier to graph this first inequality like this. Now, since it's a compound inequality, we need to combine both inequalities into one graph. So, when we do that, We have two right here, and we have six right here. And since the solutions are between two and six, um, we'll have a graph that looks like this. Both of these inequalities are true for this graph right here when we combine both these graphs together. So an AND, or a compound inequality involving AND, will have an intersection or an overlapping region of the simple inequality graphs. Now there is one other way you can solve this inequality. You can combine these two inequalities and solve them as one. So if you combine this, or if it's given combined in a worksheet, then it will look like this. So 4 is less than x plus 2, which is less than or equal to 8. Now, we solve equations and inequalities by subtracting by both sides. And since there are three sides, we're going to subtract the 2 from all three sides of the inequality 
to get 4 minus 2, or 2, is less than x, which is less than or equal to 8 minus 2, or 6. Now we have this combined, and if we graph this inequality on a number line, it's a less than, so we're going to have an open dot at 2, and less than or equal to, so we'll have a closed dot at 6, and everything in between 2 and 6 are solutions to the compound inequality. Now, a compound inequality that looks like this, 4x minus 1 is less than 15, and 8x is greater than or equal to 48. If we solve this, so we can add 1 to both sides to get 4x, bring down the less than sign, 15 plus 1, or 16, divide both sides by 4 to get x is less than 4, and here we can divide both sides by 8 to get x is greater than or equal to 6. Since we have two equations, we can graph both of these on a number line and then combine them into one. So we have x is less than 4, so we have an open dot since it's less than and not less than or equal to, and it's less than 4 so we're going to be moving in the, to the left. And now x is greater than or equal to 6. We'll do a closed dot since it's greater than or equal to. And we're going to move in the right like that. Now, if you combine both of these graphs, you'll get something that looks like this. And there is no overlap in this graph. And therefore, this equation has or this original inequality has no solution since there is no overlap. A graph of a compound inequality involving AND will look something like this. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.